Thank you very much and welcome to Games Master, the show which has made the 6.30 slot its own and is responsible for more sprained wrists than the lovely Julia Roberts. Everything you've always wanted to know about video games but were a wee bit too tight-fisted to buy a magazine about. Tips, reviews and game-playing challenges, the first of which will now be set by the man who put the round windows on play school, the Games Master. Greetings. So you think you have sufficient nows to master one of my little ruses? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? To start with, I'd like you to try your hand at Duck Tales. You have two and a half minutes to guide Scrooge MacDuck to the Himalayas. You will need to rescue the helpless Baba from his icy tomb and then retrace your webbed steps to escape from the cavern with the help of Launchpad. Two and a half minutes to guide Scrooge MacDuck to the Himalayas. Now let's hope you are fit to the bill. Now, DuckTales may look like a cute and rather fluffy game, but let me tell you, in the Himalayas, there's lots of dangerous chilly bits. Trying to keep warm and toasty for this challenge is Scott Andrew from Manchester. Welcome to Games Master, Scott. Thanks. Well, so have you been practising very hard at the game? Very hard. And you're very confident about the challenge? Very confident. Well, I'm very pleased to see you all because I think it's a very tough challenge, to tell you the truth. It gets quite tricky in some points. Yeah. Okay, well, wish you all the best, Scott. If you'd just like to go and plunk yourself down in our hot seat there and get ready to start the game. Here, as always with me, is Jazz Rignall. He never seems to do anything else apart from perch with me up here. Um, Jazz, DuckTales, it's a very good game, quite a tough challenge. Yeah, it is. It's the, the game's not that difficult, but the challenge is, and uh, unless he hasn't mapped it out, uh, he's going to have trouble. OK, well, we've got every confidence in Ur Scott. Are you ready then, Scott? Off you go. Now, what's these first little things that Doc McScrooge has got to have? There's a horrible snow here, and uh, he's got to use the pogo stick technique to uh, get rid of them, otherwise I'll uh, take his energy off. OK, well, he seems to be going at a fair old pace. He's obviously got to avoid this huge big ram here. And, um, but he's successfully manoeuvred that, he's ducked away from it instead of fighting it. Is that a good idea? Yeah, uh, if, if you mess it up, um, unless you're absolutely sure that you're going to hit it right. Oh my god, up, falling right. down gaping chasm now, is he going to be killed? No, this, this, this is fine, he can uh, drop miles basically. He's going the right way, what, what, what it's all about is actually mapping your way through here, and he's going the right way. Okay, well he has two and a half minutes to do the challenge, and 30 seconds have gone already, so he's going very well, Jazz. Yeah, um, he's going the right route, as I said, and that's the most important. If you start getting lost or something like that, uh, you can end up spending minutes of your time to try and retrace his steps. So, uh, Always found one of his little nephews. Is that Huey, Dewey, Louie, what are they called? I forget what his name is, actually. <laughs> but uh, he gives you a clue and tells you oh! uh, what you should do. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. He just seems to be narrowly missing all these ice bugs. I don't know how he's managing to miss them. Well, it's all right, he's picked up an invincibility pill, so uh, he's, he's safe there, you can go flying Now, who's through. this? I think he's actually found Bubba. He's found Bubba! <laughs> OK, so that's... Um, so he's exactly halfway through the time limit now, and he's found Bubba, so he's well on course, Julian. He said he's got the jewel, he's got to find that helicopter, he's bouncing his way across. He's got to be more careful coming back, because he hasn't got the invincibility, of course. Right, I see. So he's obviously got to negotiate this snow here. And he's rattling away, but he's got... He's got one minute left, 60 seconds left here. It's going to get pretty tight here, Julian. Yeah, he's doing really well, and he could make it. Now he's just got to negotiate this huge big spider. It's going to be a problem, though. He's certainly past the spider. He's under the hair. He's got 45 seconds left to go. There's a big rope. I think he's going to go, but he's going up the rope. He's bending it. He's got 30 seconds left. He's, he's, he's got it. He's, he's spider. He's spider. He's spider. He's spider. He's spider. He's spider. <laughs> Well done. Yeah. You made pretty short work of that challenge there. Yeah. Were you, were you nervous at all? Yeah, my legs are like jelly. <laughs> it certainly didn't look like us. I mean, I've never seen anybody get through that game so quickly. Well, the thing is, you know what that means, Scott? You have won what most people want more than anything in the world. One of our extremely special golden Games Master joysticks. Thanks. OK, Scott, so if you take that back to Manchester with you, I'm sure you'll have hours of enjoyment with it. Scott Andrew. <laughs> OK, so while, so while Scott gets to grips with his large possession, let's go and check out the reviews of all the latest new games. 
Our three games this week are linked by the word funk. First up on the Mega Drive, strut your surreal stuff with the console world's answer to Bill and Ted, the extremely laid back Toe Jam and Earl. It looks great, a uh, bit of humour, fantastic graphics, great sound, well, especially uh, appealing to a 12 year old kid. Toe Jam and Earl is a very good game graphically and very good musically as well, but it has very limited appeal and I feel you could get quite bored of it quite quickly. Good fun for a while, I'd say. Um, slickly put together, but not a lot of game in there. Next up, save the world with pure love in Top Banana. The game itself, it's got great music and, and the graphics are absolutely superb, but uh, that doesn't actually make the game, the playability isn't there. The theme of Top Banana is very environmental. It makes it for a different game, but all in all, it's just another platform with beat em ups in the middle. Seen it all before, really. And finally, Bart the Brat arrives on the Game Boy as you eat shorts and have cows with Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly. Wonderful game, both graphically and musically, with great speech and animation. Nothing particularly outstanding or new, but good fun, and if you like The Simpsons, you won't be disappointed in the game. Now for our preview section. They zapped you with Xenon, gifted you with gods, and enchanted you with magic pockets. The Bitmark Brothers are now back with the Chaos Engine. Renegade's Graham Boxall gives us a sneak preview. The Chaos Engine is the latest Bitmark Brothers production. <laughs> It takes place back in the Victorian era, and your job will be to take six characters into a um, Victorian house to destroy the Chaos Engine. Your main character is, is controlled by the joystick, and then you've got two other characters who um, have got their own attributes, and although they mimic your movements, they'll follow you around. They've actually got, actually got special identities. The game's strongest feature is the fact that it creates a new gaming environment, taking the best actions of best elements of arcade games and combining them with role-playing games to create something that some, nobody has ever done before. So a somewhat mixed bag of reviews.